Hello and welcome to this Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm Yuri Kwan and today I'm going to take a look at Gentoo. Um, it's a distribution for Linux, so let's go through it. Um, we got the launcher thing here to see your applications, your favorites, your computer, recently to use, and leave for shutdown logout. Uh, if we're gonna, we can start with the applications. We're gonna go through. A, they have really a lot of applications. It's a bit too much, I think. <laughs> but let's look. We got for uh, development. It's the web development. They have Bluefish here to start coding in HTML and PHP, SQL, and a lot more. Apache and C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's close that one down. And they have some more development kits they got the qt uh, let's open it up to do the windows and applications in. um let's close again up here um so yeah uh, you add through here and i believe you can code somewhere where ah oh, never mind let's close oh there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go to applications again and let's see if we can find some more thing here. Um, I believe it's a more advanced text editor. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I don't believe we're gonna go look through that. So, and they have some education applications here. For language, mathification, and science, and to learn it's for a bit for new users and children and that kind of stuff. And they have games, a lot of games. <laughs> um, I think it's a bit uh, a childish, childish, childish. How do you say it? Childish games. Oh, well. graphics. They have a oh, blender. That's really nice open it up mm. I don't see the cube thing here but whatever let's see so yeah here you can uh, model your stuff if you're into that yeah. blender is really nice it's free so <laughs> yeah uh, let's close that one down um, I believe they change wallpaper um, I have something that changed wallpaper every 10 seconds <laughs> or something it feels like um let's open up the graphics again see if we have a uh, document viewer gimp um, let's see if we can recognize some more uh, it's kde so i'm not that familiar with this um photo manager and yeah, that's really standard uh, and vector graphics editor uh, let's see let's open up here um, it's like gimp so you can edit your images here. That's real nice as well. I keep clicking that. Um, let's close that one down. Um, applications. We're rolling. Um, graphics. And here we have the internet. They have the Aurora web browser. And BitTorrent client for download some torrents. Download manager. Let's see. Email clients. They have Claws. Um, they have pigeon that's really nice and instant message <laughs> um i don't believe they and they got empath um <laughs> really a lot <coughs> a lot of them so let's see oh they got put um, and they got conqueror web browser and opera <laughs> um i don't believe that's really a lot of applications i believe um yeah so let's close that and i don't believe they have much more um, they have multimedia here they have like all the <laughs> cd and music players um, and she's for webcam and disco burner brazil a drum machine to generate some sounds they got the gnome player the vlc player the SM player and uh, a lot of stuff, rhythm player, all the city to manage your, to edit your sounds and that stuff. So, yeah. And we have Office. And they have a bit kind of 
standard uh, spreadsheet LibreOffice. And yeah, I believe that's that. Science and Math, a spreadsheet here. So that's the applications. Um, oh, I believe, no, <laughs> I have a lot more. So we got your open box configuration. Oh, that's nice. Screen saver, we can open up to change your themes and that kind of stuff here. And the parent windows, uh, movie size, mouse, desktop, margins on the top of the things here, and docs. So yeah, let's close that one down. And we were on settings. And if you click here, sit on settings, you get this window here where you can change your account details, application appearance, and that kind of basic stuff. Network manager, um, multimedia display monitor. Uh, yeah, I believe that's that. So let's close that one down and open applications. And utilities here. Let's go. They have archiving tools, calculator. <coughs> Let's see if we can find. Um, what am I looking for? Tamil text editor, virtual screen. Ah, I believe that's that. So let's close that one on. Lost and found. I don't believe I know what that is yet. So yeah, that's the applications. Uh, here's the computer folder, the home network routes, recently used, what we used here. So that's that. If we look here, we have bug tracker, install Adobe, internet replay chat support, support forums, trash, user handbook. User handbook can be really useful. <laughs> um, Gento seems to be a lot of applications, so it's not that easy, I think. So that's quite nice to have that on the desktop here. So yeah, I keep clicking that. Why do I do that? So yeah, um, to install Adobe Bug Tracker, I don't believe I've seen that. Well. Um, help them with bugs, I think. So yeah, that's quite nice. And down here we have the internet sound and the date so yeah uh, i believe that's that uh, thank you for watching this is kento